Hi everyone, today I'm going to present our paper, One Class Learning Towards Synthetic Voice Spoofing Detection. This work is recently published on IEEE signal processing letters. If you are interested, please feel free to check out our paper. First about the background. Our work belongs to the research topic, voice biometrics. We know that voice can be used to verify the identity of a speaker. And this system is called Automatic Speaker Verification or ASV system. And we usually expect that the input of this system is bona fide speech, which means that it's natural speech produced by humans. And with this ASV system, we make a decision to accept this identity or reject. But recently we can see from some blogs or news that AI technology can be used to clone one's voice and even cause some crimes. So this, this fake speech, uh, also called spoofing attacks, can be categorized into these four parts, impersonation, replay, text-to-speech, and voice conversion. Where impersonation means that usually twins or professional mimics can mimic someone else's voice. But in this category, no database is available. So currently no research is going on in this uh, attack. Replay attack means we reuse pre-recorded audio uh, to pass the microphone. And this kind of attack is the most accessible one. The other two are use some AI algorithms. Text-to-speech is to convert written text to spoken words with speech sentences. And voice conversion is to convert speech from source speaker to target speaker's voice. And in common settings of any spoofing, these four attacks um, are categorized into logical access and physical access according to the settings of ASV spoof challenge. And the LA attack includes TTS and VC and even combinations of them. And peer attacks are replay attacks. And our current focus is on LA attacks so it includes some algorithm-related artifacts. So with this speaker verification system, we know that it can be attacked by these four kinds of attacks. So we may need another standalone system with any spoofing system, which is used to detect these spoofing attacks. And with these two systems, we can jointly make a decision to accept or reject one's identity. And in this work, we focus on the research question that how can the system defend against unknown spoofing attacks? Because we know that these days, the speech synthesis technology are getting more and more advanced. So it can produce increasingly powerful spoofing attacks for this speaker verification system. So we want to improve the generalization ability of the any spoofing system. Our idea is from this one class classification. So by definition of one class classification, um, it is a special case of binary classification. So one of the class is referred as target class. It is well characterized by the instances in the training data. But for the other class, also called non-target class, it has either no instances at all, very few of them, or they do not form a statistically representative samples of the negative concept. So we know that in the training set, the spoofing attacks are limited. And in real life, there are more advanced spoofing attacks. So this satisfies the third condition. The negative concept is not statistically representative. So to further illustrate the one class classification, we know that the binary classification usually draws a decision boundary between the two two classes. So here the blue dots and blue squares uh, means the target data and non-target data in the training set. So the red ones are the test data. So with just a decision boundary decided from the training set, um, it can have some issues when the unknown attacks appears. So our idea is from this one class classification, 
where we draw a tight boundary besides this um, target training data. So all the attacks or the, all the non-target data should be outside this boundary. So in this case, we can improve the generalization ability to detect unseen non-target data. So let's come to the method parts. For the softmax, um, it's use the desired boundary to separate two classes and the formula can be shown here. And usually the target points or the, the points belong, the data points belongs to the target class will concentrate on this W0 minus W1 and the non-target data will concentrate on W1 minus W0. And this additive margin softmax will include a margin um, with this decision boundary. So you can see there are two decision boundaries here and there's a large margin um, in between. So these the data points of these two classes also concentrate on these two vector. And with this tight boundary, it can be shrinked in this space, embedding space. So inspired by this additive margin softmax, we propose this one class softmax where we only um, concentrate or shrink the embedding space of the target data. But for the non-target data, we let it scatter around a new space and we use another margin to push away this. And the formula can be shown here. So this figure compares our proposed OC softmax with the original softmax and AM softmax. And the formulas can also be compared here. And for our experiments, we conduct the experiments on the ASV spool 2019 LA dataset. So it includes the bona fide speech from VCTK dataset. The training set includes six known attacks. For the evaluation set, it includes 13 unknown attacks where two attacks are similar from the known algorithms but are trained with more data. So it's more difficult. And the number of utterances um, is the distribution is shown here. To evaluate our proposed loss function, we see that the ER is the lowest with our proposed OC softmax. And when we visualize the feature embedding, we find that the distribution of the development set and the evaluation sets are truly different. So with the highlighted part, we can see these are unknown attacks appeared in the test set. So these two distributions are obviously different. And with our OC softmax, we can see that all the spoofing attacks are pushed away with the boundary here. So even, even the most difficult A17 attack, we can see it's, it's still outside this uh, red part. So it's separated uh, well with our proposed OC softmax trained model. And we also compare with other single systems. So by single system, we mean that we do not use any model fusion technique and we just train a single system and to test it. So our system, uh, achieves the best results among all the single systems. And even with the leaderboard of this ASV Spool 2019 challenge, we can see our system could rank between the second and third. Although the top systems all use model fusion, but we do not. So for our conclusion, the takeaways are one class learning aims to compact the target class representation in the embedding space, set a tight classification boundary around it and push away non-targets. So this explains the idea of one class learning. And our one class learning could improve the robustness of any spoofing system against unknown spoofing attacks. So this shows the success of our proposed method. And our proposed system trained with OC softmax outperforms all existing single systems. Okay, that's it for my presentation. Thank you everyone. If you have any questions, feel free to send me emails.